Good morning, guys. Welcome to Chad. H E double hockey sticks. You guys, I did not know what being on a farm really was like. I had no idea. Like, it's all true. All the stuff they say is true. Good morning, roosters. Good morning. So it's 9 a.m. and we've been working since dawn and it never ends. I'm like working on Chino, trying to figure him out, trying to get him done. I'm working on winterizing everything, like getting the chicken coop and stuff ready. I'm working on so much stuff. And our little goat just keeps getting out. So when I was doing chores this morning, I'm like, I saw him get out. He pushed through this thing by the water trough, pushed through this fence, so Sam came down and he fixed it. And we're like, we're good. We're going to get coffee. We come back and he's with the girls again. I'm like, what are we doing wrong? So then, and sure enough, he jumped that fence. Like Sophie said, and Sam said, they're like, he's jumping the fence. The fence is three times bigger than him. He's not jumping the fence. He jumped the fence. <laughs> Clearly, he knows when our goats are in heat better than I know when our goats are in heat. He knows the second that they're in heat. I know once he knows. <laughs> Oh man. So uh, this is the second fence that Sam's fixed this morning. Like I've seen farmers be like, oh, I'm going out to fix the fence. And then farmers always seem like they are busy all the time, like fixing one problem after another, but I never really bought into it. I never really- I thought that was code for, I'm going to hide somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee outside. We didn't know it was real stuff. Like what the heck, man? So anyway, Sam's working on building our fence a little bigger. I think he should just tear this one out and build it with regular wood. A nice tall fence. Yeah, I should actually take all these off. And... Yeah, that's what I think. And then if he can jump this, he can jump this. And the gate back and there. The gate, the and the gate. Oh my God. What's the point? Yep, everybody's getting pregnant. This is the year everybody's pregnant. <laughs> oh, I really want to be careful though because we have babies. And they're both a good size. I did some like measurements and stuff to make sure that they were growing well. And they're both a good size. They could probably handle a pregnancy, but they're too young. I would never ever want them to be pregnant at this age. That's just not me. I know some people breed their goats at like eight months or nine months. Um, really some even at seven months. Yeah, Ellie's already had her zoomies with the goats and tried to play with them. Inside, the duck and the goose are really interested in the chickens and want to be with the chickens. I feel bad that they're not with the chickens. The chickens are enjoying the poop pile. <laughs> oh my gosh, things are just falling apart. It is now 10.43 a.m. 10.43. We took Sam's truck in to get, I don't know whatever he does to his truck, but we took it into the repair shop so we could do some stuff on it. Sam went to get hay. I cleaned up the chicken coop to get it ready for Winter, Sophie went to the grocery store. She's making dinner tonight. And then Sam and Sophie just get home now and they're like, why'd you let the goat out again? What happened? He busted the door open. So, oh now the boys are the baby boys out too. Yeah, Everyone's cool. everywhere. So now he, he, busted the, he busted the door open. This is what you call goat in rut. Those two are the only good ones on the whole farm. <laughs> so today when we were trying to catch them, the boy goat, the buck, Sophie was chasing him and Leo, the goose, flew across the barnyard and tried to attack Sophie. Not really attack him. He didn't try and attack, but he- He's helping me. He's like, I'll cut him off for you. I think he was telling Sophie, you better behave. Sam built this ugly, I mean, Sam built this gate. <laughs> Get out. Go back to where you belong. All right, we got him. <laughs> Except that the baby boy is out now. Listen, I love you. I, I love you, but you can't be mating. Not yet, it's too, it's too early. <laughs> He's like, who are you to tell me it's too early? Come on back here with your friend. Yeah, not like you're- So actually, Sophie, little weathers are really good for some things. They still can tell when a, a doe is in heat and alert you. They can even make your girls come into heat. You better buy a lasso. Yeah, you better buy a lasso, Sam says. Oh man, <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> 
Yeah, where's Tilly? Oh my gosh. One of our goats is missing. Oh gosh. He doesn't want to be away from his mom and his sister. <laughs> They're playing the runaway game. They're runaway from Sophie game. You know that song? Uh, thank God I'm a country boy. It says life on the farm. It's kind of laid back. Ain't nothing a country boy can't hack. Early to bed, early to rise. Thank God I'm a country boy or something like that. Well, I mean, there's a lot going on on the farm. Right now the buck is <laughs> trying to push past my arm. And he's rubbing all over my shirt with his stinky face. Ow! <laughs> he's jabbing me in the leg. Just gently, but it's not fun. <laughs> I'm watching the door for your dad. Could you imagine if Sylvie was in school too? It'd just be me and Sam wrangling these goats. <laughs> I'm done with this. He can stay. He <laughs> can stay. Little little buck here needs a needs a friend. Well, Go, that one always gets the Go get some grain. Our farm is starting to look like a, like a, I don't even know what. So that's where he got out this morning. See that nice, beautiful piece of wood Sam nailed there? The little buck is literally running around. Like, oh, you got food? <laughs> I need this to catch your baby. That's trying to have food. Where's Tilly? I'm um, fighting with the boy. Uh oh. had to finally just throw the bucket. Well, I'm not risking my life. <laughs> I'm not risking my life. You're home. Look at his hackles are up. So <laughs> I know. I just want to make pickles. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just want to make pickles. So he's going to make pickles. <laughs> yeah, I have to wait a week. This uh -huh. only happens when our does are in heat. What are you doing, Stinky? So essentially it's only happened twice now and we failed both times. Like both times he's gotten out. We fixed the fence and he broke through the door. I know, we go, we just fix everything that, every way that he seems to find a way to break out, we fix it and then he just. So if you guys are pregnant, at least have girls. Yeah, if you guys are pregnant, we're trying to do the doling method. He's trying to too. <laughs> he's trying to do the everything method. <laughs> We reinforced the lock. We used to have like something like this that we used to lock it on. Um, and then we switched to something else on the back of there. He doesn't like him because he's in he's rut stinky. and stinky. He's just, that's just what he is, Sophie. That's what he's here for. I think you have to respect and love your, your, your bucks. Anyways. Okay, this, well when you try and bring him back, how, he jabs you. <laughs> how ugly the fence looks. Now. So we're going to see if that works. <laughs> I just I, am exhausted now. So one thing I noticed about this farm, once we open the last gate, the horses aren't here all the time. It's not as fun. Well, you fix one thing, the goat breaks out again. Oh. I mean, this is what farming is though. And what's interesting is that I love it. Like, I don't like him breaking out because I don't like the risk to our does, but he's so sweet and so cute. And I love like, always having something to do, something to fix, something to work on. So I'm gonna go and try and dump one of these into the chicken coop. like to um, mess everything up themselves so I like to just kind of put it in here at the straw and then let them make it into their nest. 
they'll make a huge mess out of it and they'll dig it all around and 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 have fun with it it'll be like stimulating for them i'm not gonna lie do you feel healthier at this farm and i think it's because there's no time for sitting there's only time for running trying to save everybody save the chickens from the cat did i tell you that what happened last night so last night i, th I think i did tell you i can't remember but anyway last night we were leaving to go to a riding lessons and the goat got out so we had to run and we put him and his little buddy the weather rocky into their bed for the night so that we wouldn't have to worry about them and then we left i realized halfway down the road that i forgot my phone we came back to get my phone and there was a cat stalking the chickens so then we had to put all the chickens in and like it's never ending it's one thing after another it's just like little simple things but it makes me feel alive. It makes me feel energized. It makes me, I love having problems to solve all the time. I love like being busy. It's like a job and I love it. I just made your bed all nice and neat, Mr. Man. Go in and check it out. Go check out your new bed. Go see. So the other thing that we will do before winter is we will wrap a lot of this shed in vapor wrap and plastic so that it protects them from the wind. And we still need to um, fix the back part. Remember I said that we're going to put uh, a coop, another coop. We're going to build another coop. Sam's working on that. He was going to work on that today and start building the door, but then <laughs> so much stuff happened. And sadly, it's almost time for show prep. If I wanted to read you guys something that, oh shoot, that I was just reading about Lyme disease. Shoot, I'm gonna lose it. Oh no, I lost it. But basically it was just saying how like, Lyme disease is such a great imitator disease. Like symptoms that come from Lyme disease are also symptoms that come from so many other diseases. So many animals that have and people that have Lyme disease they end up getting diagnosed with so many other things or it's like this whole huge process it's such a silent disease and that's what happened with Chino like we went through so much we went through so much time trying to figure out all these little tiny issues that he had and diagnosing little tiny issues and not knowing that he had Lyme disease if I find it, I'll figure, I'll, if I find it again, I'll read it to you guys because it was so super interesting. But uh, I'm waiting for our vet to call back. He's almost done, he has two more weeks of drugs and then he is done the drugs, but he got an abscess, so I don't think it worked. I'm pretty sure, like he started to rally, he started to get better and then the lawn just took over again. And it's really sad, like Lyme disease, I've been reading. People are saying that after four years of being treated and, and doing stuff to fix it, horses are finally coming back into work. So it's only been a few months for us. So we're at the very beginning stages, but it's a lot, you guys. It is so stressful. Don't you know that you're beautiful?